and welcome back to another video from Optical Turnkey. Today we're going to be looking at why YouTube creators are absolutely losing their minds over some new rules coming to YouTube. Let's take a look. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in my so the whole of YouTube seems to have lost their minds at the panic and the worry that a new policy is coming in that they can't swear on their live streams or on their content videos. Well, there's nothing that new about what is coming in, to be honest with you. Because if you didn't already know, there is actually a vulgar language policy already on YouTube. Did you know that? So it is all there in the terms of service currently. Let's take a look at it now in a little bit closer detail. What this policy means for you if you are posting content. Explicit content that violates this policy could result in age restriction, content removal or a strike. We may consider the following factors when deciding whether to age restrict, remove content or issue a strike. The use of sexually explicit language or narratives. The use of excessive profanity in the content. Use of heavy profanity or sexually suggestive terms in the content title, thumbnail or associated metadata. Or the use of excessive sexual sounds. We may allow vulgar language when the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific or artistic, and it isn't gratuitous. For example, the title of a song with a curse word or song that contains large amounts of profanity. Remember that giving context in the content, title, description will help YouTube and the viewers determine the prim primary purpose of the video. So making it clear what the purpose of your video is will also help in not getting your video removed for the uh, profanity. So as I said, so many people seem to be losing their absolute minds, but I think everyone forgets that this time last year, all the new rules about the anti-bullying policies were coming in and we're 12 months on from that now and absolutely nothing has changed not for many people anyway so yeah i don't think it's going to make a lot of difference i think they are just going to clamp down more on uh providing their advertisers quality content for them to advertise their products on because let's remember what youtube is in the market for they're not worried about your little channels or your little videos that you put out all they're worried about is it suitable for advertisers to spend their money on marketing. That is it. That's literally what YouTuber are all about. And as well as data. So, well, that's it from me today. Thanks for watching. And um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and like buttons and all that shebang. But yeah, that's it from me. Later, sir. See you soon.